as you may notice, I am completely transformed and I am not the same girl anymore. I'm just simply not. Um, why? Well, look at my brows. Just... Okay, and my lashes. All thanks to my girl Denise. Check out her Instagram. Book her through DM right now at this moment. She basically laid them down without setting them with the saran wrap plastic over so they have movement. I could even go back to my normal horrible brow like that or I can just fluff them up and live my new life. I think I'm gonna do another video about how all the different ways that I've been styling like my new brow. So if you want that, comment below. Also check out my nails. They are absolutely gorgeous. Done by my baby Jill. Also someone you should check out. Follow and support. Okay, so I am going to start by doing a different face routine. I'm going to use Becca Backlit Primer, which is like one of my favorite primers of all time besides the glow screen. It's not for everyone's skin tone. It can come off a little ashy or gray if you're deeper in skin tone. So in that case, I don't recommend it, unfortunately, but Becca does have a lot of gorgeous glowing primers for all skin tones. I wanna have my skin be nice and sticky before I put on this By Terry Brightening CC Serum. So I'm just gonna give myself a spritz of this e.l.f. Energizing Citrus Oil Mist. And then I'm going to basically bronze my entire face with this. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to kind of dot it like I'm contouring. For deeper skin tones, you could use it straight up like the Becca Backlit Primer. It has a bit more of a, a subtle glow than the backlit primer, but you also wouldn't fully be able to tell that because I just put the Becca backlit all over so you don't know what glow is coming from where. I'm going to start concealing with my Kosa's number no. 6 Revealer Concealer. I'm going to go off a little bit. I really love it because it's so yellowy. And then this genius e.l.f. Blending Perfector really has instantly become one of my favorite brushes. So after I'm kind of like patting that down, I'm just gonna go in with my uh, foundation brush and blot it away. Okay, last step is highlighting concealer and I'm just gonna use my NARS Custard because I've been loving going back to using this lately. I'm going to show you just one of the ways I've been doing my brows lately. The pencil I'm using right now is this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I used to be obsessed with these. They're just as good, in my opinion, as the um, Brow Wiz and by Anastasia. This is just ash brown. So for me, the gap really starts here. I will be laminating my brows now until I'm on my deathbed. Like, I'm never gonna go back. I think I'm going to just put the smallest touch of neutral wow brow in them just to keep them up and fluff. Really lightly go over them. Just gonna prime really quickly with my Lila B B Vibrant. Uh, Sephora is all taped up right now, so I can't actually try things. And right now, live on the air, I am going to check out this Eye Ecstasy Palette by Pat McGrath. Ooh, well, I'm going to start with this blue. Okay, so I've just plopped it on and now I'm gonna take my little buffer, buffer out, because I don't want to have it slapped all over my eye. So I don't know how pigmented I want it yet. So I'm just kind of buffing it out. A little flat brush. And I'm just gonna take the same 
color. Concentrate it more. I'm going to take the other side of this brush and go in with a purple. Taking a clean fluffy and fluffing out. I'm going to go in on the other side just to start matching it. back and forth, add, subtract with just the two brushes that already have product on them. I don't want to carry the purple way too into my eye. Um, so you can really appreciate the gorgeousness of this purple. It's so pretty. kind of just painting right now because I don't know exactly what look I'm going for, which is fun. I'm gonna take a really small flat brush and I'm gonna carry this purple right here. And I think sometimes the key with editorial looks, at least mine, are that it's dramatic, but it's not taking over my whole face. So I'm just kind of like here and there adding color around my eye. And I'm not going to do a crazy contour highlight, blah, 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 but I am going to do those things all with this palette. I'm going to take that same tiny flat brush and go in here. Let's see. Ooh. It's really pretty. It's like a bright burgundy. Metallic-y. And smoked out. But I'm still keeping that negative space. Yes, this clean bronzy brush and just kind of like wipe away some of sort of like fallout we have. I do want to take a Q-tip and clean up right in there. Of milk micellar remover on the little tippy Q-tip. And the key thing here, cleaning it up, is not that you go all the way into the eye. So I just want to match this negative space. So I'm using the pointy end. And then just cleaning up here. The negative space. So I'm just going to go over with my little blendy brush and take whatever is left right here go back in. I think I'm gonna wet the purple just a little bit right here. Go over one more time this little area, this burgundy. Mm, that is the tea. Okay, so just after a little bit of concealer cleanup, I'm feeling pretty good. I really love this lengthening skinny brush mascara from Aiko. While that mascara dries, I'm gonna do my regular contour that I always do with my Fenty Mocha Match Stick.
to really brighten the negative space that I have here, so I'm gonna use my poorly treated Kevin Aquan contour and highlight palette. Take a little bullet brush and the highlight shade and highlight the negative spaces. So right here. This is a really brilliant highlighter, literally for highlighting, like brightening the whole area without like so much shimmer. Take some of that down my nose. A little bit on my brow, not too much. It's really pretty. I've really been loving my Monsieur Big Lancome mascara sample from Sephora. Whoa. <laughs> okay, while those are drying, I'm gonna start doing a little bit of blush, and I want to take this gorgeous shade, Synthetica, nope, Crimson Fire, and I'm gonna use it as a blush. Small highlighting brush like this to do the blush because the pan is so small, and it's gonna be so pigmented I already can tell, so. Oop, yeah. I think what I need to do is just take my bronzer, my bronzer brush, before that, really powder down. Always powder your face when using powdery blushes or powder contour. Really powder that down. So much that you're getting George Washington into your hairline. Okay, so I'm saturating my brush with the Crimson Fire. Really tapping off. My tiny highlighting brush. Really saturate it and then dip it into some powder so I get a really pretty blend. And I'm gonna put the red at the end like that. We're having this nice and blended out. This definitely was a challenge for me to use the whole palette, but we're making it work. I wouldn't 1000% recommend it. Yeah, I wouldn't 1000% recommend it. the color all over my bus. This super loose fluffy brush. Go in here to give my eyes even more definition. I like to do this as the last step because I don't want to overwhelm the makeup and I just want to see what more do I want to do do I want to do to this to take it to the next level. Take this to the next level right here where the red comes in. Flushed. The flushed. Flush, blush, 80s moment. And then just take the same brush I use that has a little bit of red on it and just kind of. And I'm gonna highlight with it. And I'm gonna use the gold, which is gonna be crazy. I'm not sure what to expect. I'm not gonna put um, the gold really anywhere else but those points, but I'm gonna go back in and that Kevin Aquan highlight just right down my nose because I really liked the way she looked. This e.l.f. Energizing Citrus Oil Mist. I use this brown e.l.f. 
Retro Paradise lip liner. Maybe I'll go the extra mile and just dust, <laughs> just dust some of this red on. Hmm, that's it. When you dust a powder over a lip product, you can make it last even longer. I love that. And the last thing that I am going to do is put the gold, Lips Gold Pat McGrath gloss on. And since it's from my kit, I'm going to put it on the back of my hand and then just apply it with my finger. And I hope that you take a little inspo from this look and try something new and different because I don't normally wear this kind of look, but I'm really feeling it and I feel very sexy and very cute. Okay, so um, if you guys wanna see anything more specific, any more makeup brands that you specifically would like me to try, comment below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to see more goodness. You should follow at my Instagram, at softglam to see a full product breakdown of every single product that I used. Thank you for watching.